and play right here, right? Or record. Yeah. <coughs> record. We're live. We live. It's the AMF show. I'm your host, Coach Dave Vaughn. This is episode 21. 21, episode 21. And today I got a very special guest with me. I mean, uh, a hood legend. Uh, uh, one of the best hoopers out the borough. Uh, if I introduce them, just going to bring out with the speed what we got going on. Uh, but if you want to see the entire interview live, um, go to Balls and Hoops TV on YouTube or Facebook um, to hear the audio. Somebody on the door. So, um, to hear the audio, download the Balls and Hoops radio app or visit ballsandhoopsradio.com. What's up, bro? Shout out to my dog, A Game Podcast, man. It was good hooping with you out there, man. The 40 and over drink. Right I mean, um, it's, so as I was uh, mentioning, <clears throat> just a quick updates. The mentoring program, got to give a shout out to our young boys, Tyler and Makai, for winning the latest essay contest. Um, they winning up all the money, man. Shout out to them. Uh, we meet every Saturday at 11 to 1. Um, if you have young people that's interested in being a part of that, um, as for our developmental basketball league, we in week four of a training camp. It's going to be the final week this upcoming Saturday. And um, following that, it's going to be our media day, uh, uniform distribution, and all of that stuff. I um, want to give a quick shout out to some sponsors uh, Hillside Toyota. If you're looking to purchase a vehicle, go see my man Sal at Hillside Toyota. Tell him I sent you. Shout out to Sturry Time Daycare in Queens Village. If you're looking for a daycare for your child in that area, go um, tap in with Miss Cameron. Now for my special guest. As I mentioned earlier, he's a Queens, New York Hooper. Um, legendary guy. One of the one of the bigs from my neighborhood who put on for the hood everywhere he played. My dog, Carl Lee. What's up, man? How you feeling today? Feeling good, man. Feeling good. <laughs> man. Thank you for having me. My of brother. course, of What's course, of course, man. We've been talking about getting you up there for some time. We yeah. finally, we finally made it happen. I yeah. mean, thank you. Of course, of course, of mm. course, of course, of course. What's good with you? That was life dream. Well, I can't complain. I'm alive. Family yeah. good. You yeah. know, still yeah. hooping. Yeah. You know what I mean, I'm still blessed. That's, I'm that's, blessed. That's, that's dope, man. That you're still at it. Yeah. I still be doing it too. Um, it's getting harder and harder, <laughs> but, but we getting it done. Know what I'm saying, um, one of the first things I ask before I kick off the show is if you had to describe yourself with one word, uh, and one word only, what would that word be for you and why'd you choose it? Humble. Humble. Yeah. I mean, just seeing the highs and lows of life, man, and it'll humble you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So humble man <laughs> yeah word. yeah that's, word. Dope. that's a fact that's a fact all right um so real quick i got a, a segment it's called 21 questions where i ask you um 21 questions kind of rapid fire you answer them in the least amount of words as possible but if you have to elaborate feel free to um it's like an icebreaker before we like jump into to your um to the interview to your story you know what i mean oh. i bet so it's gonna be a little entertainment, a little music, then we're gonna tap into basketball with some of these questions. All right, Let's cool. So the first one, the first uh question that I ask in 21 questions is um who's your favorite rap artist of all time? Uh, damn, honestly, damn, I don't I don't really got one, but if I had to say one, I'm a big L fan. Yeah, big L nice. Um, that's a good hat too, man. Off top, all day, boy. Yeah, that's a good hat, all day. All day. <laughs> nice fan till the day yeah, yeah. I'm out of here. Right, right, right. Yeah, big Al. Okay. Um, uh, I like Pac a lot. Okay. Um, Jeezy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. That's. I mean, Nip. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's about it. That's about it. All right. So if you had to pick a rap album, what would be your your, your favorite album of all time? Rap album. Damn. Favorite album. Rap if album any. Of all time. Damn. I'm trying to think. Um. Uh, 
Nah. Nah. Probably Big House. Okay. I just can't remember the first name of um, the album name, but yeah. Okay. A Big L album. Yeah. All right. Say that. Um, yeah. What about um, R&B? Like, do you have a favorite artist or or um, group? Shit. If any. Uh, favorite artist? Carl Thomas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Carl Thomas. Yeah. yeah, Carl Thomas is the goal. Um, what song you listening to on repeat currently right now? Like, is there a song that you that you you playing often in the in the whip, working out or whatever you doing? Mm. Hustle and motivation. Yeah, 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 nip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That journey is definitely on repeat mm-hmm. a lot. Um, do you have a favorite artist of this era? Like any genre of music? Is there Anybody? Nah, I don't really. They cool, yeah. But not they ain't not staying my out thing. time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not my thing. Uh, top two favorite basketball <clears throat> movies: Above the Rim and uh, Hoop Dreams. Hoop Dreams, fine. Um, favorite TV show: <laughs> Martin. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> that's my show too. Bro. I'm still that's watching. Shit. I'm watching that dream now. That's my, yeah, that's uh, my favorite shit. pro college. Or high school basketball team of all time. Mine. <laughs> Which team is that? Uh, I would say Fresno City. We had a magical run. That was my favorite Fine. team of all time. Yeah, I we tapping into that too. Yeah. Um, favorite pro college or high school ball player of all time. Damn, my favorite of all time. I got, damn, I got more than one. That's I'm, fine. I'm I'm a Barkley I'm a Barkley fan. Charles Barkley, yeah. And I'm a um, KG fan. Okay, Garnett, yeah, 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 yeah. makes sense. Kobe, all right. You know what I mean? No, yeah. no order. All right, all right. No order. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. makes sense. All right, all right. Um, do you have a favorite team to watch Knicks. play currently? Knicks, Knicks, yeah, New York Knicks. My man Stills gonna love that. I mean, <laughs> Stills gonna love that. Shout out to Stills. Uh, do you have a favorite? Um, Basketball player currently that you um that's in the league or or on college or something that you uh like guess up GA with. yeah Ant man tough he's tough yeah Ant man too yeah Brunson love love Brunson man shout out to Brunson too man yeah yeah love, yeah like, Brunson getting yeah, to it yeah he, yeah he's doing his thing yeah so, uh, all right um if you had to describe your style of play using a player. Um, whether they was in college or they played in the pros, who would that player be and why? Damn. These are good ones. I ain't, I ain't prepared for this. Uh, <laughs> uh, current or old? Current or old, yeah. Hmm, that I would compare myself to. Yeah. But work, agility, tough. Hmm. Shit, I gotta. This might be in left field. Probably my couples don't remember this guy, but his name is uh, Sharif Abdul Rahim. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. I liked him a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean, I like Bonzi Wells a lot. Yeah. You know, of course, Barkley. Yeah. You know what I mean? KG, of course, but yeah, I would say a mixture, mixture of, that. of a lot makes of guys. Sense. You yeah, know what it makes mean? sense. Right. And then there was guys that I watched too, so I can't even like like there was this kid named Zach Williams. He was the Christ the King. Mm-hmm. I used to watch him a lot and watch his footwork and all that. So that's where I got, um, you know, after my man, but whatever. Yeah. But uh, yeah, from him too though. That's dope. Or from him too. Uh, what was the best year of your basketball career? Best year of my basketball career, shit. It would have to be my first year of college, first year of JUCO. Okay. All right. Uh, um, your career high on points, if you can remember. Like 40, 45, 46 in college. Okay. No threes. No threes. It's crazy. No threes. <laughs> That's crazy. No threes. <laughs> All right. Um, throughout your basketball journey, who was your favorite coach to play for? Vance Wahlberg. Okay. Shout out That's to him. Small, bro. He yeah. actually got the about time too, but he got the head coaching job this year at uh, Fresno State. He should have been at that though. But okay, yeah. All right. hell of a guy. Long time Good coming. Guy. 
Yeah, long you time still in, you still in contact with him? Not really, but I okay. keep up to date, though. Okay, okay. You know, love is always love. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. <clears throat> um, who is the most skilled teammate you ever played with, you'd say? And this could be on any level. Ronnie Price. Okay. Ronnie Price. Played with him at uh, Utah Valley State. Okay. Boy, was, yeah. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Um, who was the most skilled player you had to compete against, you'd say? Oh, compete against. Ever? Mm hmm First person that come to mind. Skill player to compete against yeah. the Juan Wagner. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's one of them guys. All yeah. right. Understood. Um, favorite teammate, if you ever had any. Favorite teammate. Like, to play. I mean, this is. You'll, you'll, you'll pick this guy to go play with you anywhere against anybody at, at any time. Yeah. And it can only be one. <laughs> Horse. Okay. Yeah. Horse. Oh, yeah. Shout out to my dog, Horse. Yeah. 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 He's, he's draw, we, tough. We, yeah. We going. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Okay. Uh, favorite tournaments to play in growing up? Yours, Almighty Force. <laughs> um, Lincoln, when it was a Lincoln. Yeah. Uh, I love Gersh, I ain't going to lie. Yeah. Now, Zone 6. Wingate, Wingate was special, too, when yeah. Wingate was Wingate. Right. Early 2000s. Okay. Uh, eight Ball was another one. Eight Ball was... Eight Ball. Yeah, Kings, I remember Eight Ball. So yeah. many, man. Yeah, Eight Ball was good. Eight Ball that was, was a good one. Mm-hmm. Kingston was great. Right. Yeah, um, we all, there was also a nice little joint over in Corona mm -hmm. back in the heyday. Uh, uh, what was that shit called, man? Um, oh, Flav, man, my man Flav, man. How can I forget the name of the shit? Uh, like Queens, Queens Finest or something like that. But okay. it was out there many moons ago. But that was a good one out there too. Okay. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of guys, talent, a lot of yeah, com competitive yeah. play. That's what's yeah. up. So. All right, um, hobbies if you have any. Outside of, outside of, um, outside of ball. Nah, I don't have, I have family and work and uh -huh. state of my, you know what I mean? All right, cool, cool, cool. cool. I yeah, like, you know, of course. I still do it out of, you know, but other than not. Okay, all right. Uh, so that, what I said, I conclude our 21 questions. So now, sure. um, we gonna get into the, to the, to the history of you. you know what I mean, like, we might ask you a bunch of questions about your journey. Um, feel free to elaborate on it. Don't, don't, don't hold back. I'm saying don't don't um don't hold on to information that 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 needs to be told. I mean, okay, I bet. So, <clears throat> what community, uh, neighborhood, park, you belong to? Would you say Lincoln? Okay, uh, Lincoln. Lincoln Park. What com So South Ozone. South Ozone Park, 123rd oh, Street and Linden Boulevard was my address right. until 12 years ago. A oh, word. Yeah. Same around around that time for me too. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, what schools did you attend? High school through elementary. Just name the names and shout the schools out real quick before. PS one hundred uh -huh. elementary two twenty six junior high. Then I went to Newtown High School. Okay, over by uh Queen Center Mall, Elmhurst, Corona. Okay, okay. All right. So yeah. next question is, who or how was you introduced to the sport, basketball? And like, what, how old was you, if you can remember? How old was I? I was probably, because I played baseball at first. I was really good at baseball. Wow. I had a love and passion for baseball. Still do. Wow. But um, I would say I stopped playing baseball like 12. So like 12, 13, used to go to my man backyard, my man Trav, my okay. man B. Yeah. Um, Brought me back there. I started yeah. playing back yeah. there. Yeah. And then Nativity. And then I went to high school. Okay. Uh, yeah, activity right. gate of heaven, you know. Yeah. So I would say twelve years old, Around thirteen, 12? Yeah, right. seventh grade, eighth grade. So, 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 how old was you when you fell in love with it, though? Like fourteen, fourteen, fourteen. Okay, I went to Newtown, met a guy named Nate Blue. Shout out to him. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, told okay. him, yo, I want to be good. Okay, I was trash. So, so that that's what my question was going to be. Uh, would you? Cause you know some people like they they just naturally talented they didn't they didn't have to work at all like it's just they were just gifted with it 
So you you worked on work you worked to get ass. okay. Work my ass off. Huh? Makes sense. Makes sense. Work my ass off. All right. So how old was you when you knew you was good? Like what age was that? Would you say? Fifteen, sixteen. Okay. Fifteen, sixteen. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I knew I was like, you know what, I'm all right. I'm I'm all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not you're not terrible, like nah. Yeah, I was yeah. Just, everybody respect they respected oh, it. Yeah, now. 15, uh -huh. 16. Uh -huh. Soft, sophomore, junior. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, you play any AAU ball or or like uh team for any local teams in the neighborhood, if you can remember. Nah, I played my first ever team that I played. I guess you could say they're local, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Pardon me, I'm bad with names, but um, was Nativity. That was the first, first, first team. Ever. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Other than now, I was playing baseball in Lincoln. But okay. um, Nativity and then Gate of Heaven. Okay, I remember and those games. That's yeah. when I, I played for them and whatever. All you right. Know? All and, right. <clears throat> yeah. All right, cool, cool. So with that said, we're going we gonna, to um, jump into the middle school to high school transition. You went to 226. Went to 226. Um, and, and back in our time, like, you got to apply for – high school you yeah, gotta go to the high yeah, school that you apply for is none of that yeah, i mean how it is today yeah, you go to newtown from 226 yeah do you do you play for the school team man no nah, i played i think i might have played one game because that's the only one i could remember okay but yeah i only played one game i never played varsity none of that okay and this is and this is because what i was wilding all right so 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 as a student as a student, you wasn't, you was, you was a, you was doing whatever you wanted in, in terms of like school. Like you wasn't, yeah. you wasn't staying eligible to play. Hell no. Okay. All right. Um, never. All right. So, so not, so you played maybe one, you was eligible to play that, maybe one high school game that you could yeah, remember. That first, <laughs> that first year, okay. that first year, ninth grade. Okay. Um, had to, it was, had to be, you know, late in the season because I didn't, I didn't. I wasn't wilding yet. Okay, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. Crazy shit, though. Yeah. But it's, it's nah. It's, it's part of it's part of the journey, though. Yeah. And, and, and that's and and that's one of the things because you know you got some you got some young men out there right now. That's 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 uh they they wilding. You know what I mean, they ain't really, but they talented, super yeah. talented. You know what I'm saying, but who's to say that they won't they 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 reach the peaks that you reach. You know right. what I'm saying, because because some of them they gonna they they automatically count themselves out immediately just because they ain't play high school ball when that's not the case. Like we that's know, definitely not the case. You know what I mean, so we are gonna jump into that though. So I right, so so um, I just want to know how'd you how'd you and everybody wants to know. I'm sure you know the people that know you closely. How'd you not play high school ball <laughs> and then <laughs> and then. And I mean, yeah. get the opportunity to play college ball. Like, how does how does that work? <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah, like, it's wild. Right? It's wild. But like, all right, so boom. All right, let's start here. Uh -huh. The first opportunity that I really had that kind of set me in that direction was meeting Nate Blue. Okay, I met Nate Blue. He got me good. All right, real quick. Shout out to Nate Blue. Shout out to him. Who who exactly is Nate Blue? To me? Yeah. Oh, at that time or now? Or just in general? At at that time and you and, Shit, and now. Yeah. At that time, everything. Okay. He was mentor. All right. You know what I mean? Cause, everything. Because a, a, a lot of young people don't don't have a Nate Blue. Right. So so saying that to say right. they need that's to get great, next to somebody. Oh, yeah, like that's that, a great, I mean? yeah, that's a great brother. Okay. That's a great brother. All right. That's a great brother. Like it all stems from him. Okay. You know what I mean? So um went up to him, long story short, in a locker room with Newtown High School, told him I want to be good. I do whatever it takes to be good. Okay. He started working my ass off. Da 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 da. Shout out to God Rest the Dead too, Daryl Patterson too. He's another Coach one that showed me. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, not, you know. But um, yeah. Told him I wanted to get better, man. Worked my ass off, worked my ass off, working out day, night, day, night. Yeah. Now, back in the days, 226, you know, tournament used to be inside. Like, you would have the rec during, like, maybe, like, 6 to 7 or 6 to 7.30, depending when y'all came in. You right. know what I mean? Right. 
I played against Riverside Church. Okay. Right? Yeah. Um, thrashed them. Yeah. Thrashed them. Right, 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 right. Next thing you know, I want to say it was either KP or um KP or another guy. You know what I mean? It was a little while ago, so yeah. pardon me. Okay. But it came up to me, yo, they got tryouts, workouts, etc. Okay. Here's the address. Somewhere like 116 down there, big ass church. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't know where it's at now, right, but right. big ass church, etc. Yeah. But the gym was mad little, but it was it was treacherous in there. And so when that's when I got introduced to real competition. Right. You know what I mean? And then fucking uh started playing with them, traveling around. Yeah. And still with rocking. Yeah, with the church. Okay, okay. And still rocking with at that time too, the high school times, and they blew, and also Doug. It was a Doug. Um, Doug was another one, Elm Core. Okay. Traveling yeah, with yeah, them yeah, as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? So so you so basically you getting to showcase your talent. And that wasn't I would play the running rebels. Like I was playing mad different AAU yeah, yeah. teams and just, circuits, but yeah. I was a church kid as well. And you was you know just I mean? and you was cooking a hey, hey, opportunity. Like every that was your time got, to shine. Every chance I got, man. And and this is what age? 15, 15 16, 16 17 all right 15 16 17 mm -hmm. all right so so i want to know like what exactly happens like what are you what are you playing or, or or what did you what do you what are you doing when Fris, frisno says they approach you like yo listen we want you to come to our school like how did, oh. how does that how did that work start here i was supposed to go to milford academy okay. got arrested dead ernie launch drove me up there xyz okay. worked out with a few guys i was up there that was already supposed to be there that year maybe like year 2000 or something like that okay. yeah 2000. okay so um i was supposed to go up there but my mom's got arrested dead my mom was uh he was she 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 wasn't jacking him okay you know what i mean yeah, like, yeah. She, she, she wasn't, wasn't really feeling him. him yeah you know what i mean okay. we, you know yeah but uh um, mom's be knowing you know, yeah, yeah, and my mom's was not involved in basketball, but she probably met that guy maybe once and was just like, nah. It was off, yeah, right, yeah. okay. So I was still gonna go to Milford. Then these guys called my phone back okay. then. You know, you got house 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 lines, phone, yeah, right. So I had two numbers. My mom's had a number, and I had a number upstairs. Okay, the coach at that time, Danny I, he uh he had called my upstairs number. And I basically told him, "Yo, don't call my phone. I'm not. I'm not fucking with y'all. Right. I wasn't planning on going to no California. Gotcha. I'm 17 years old. Yeah. I'm a mama's boy, yeah. and you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I ain't yeah. going the fuck out of here. Right. Don't ask me how he even got that number. Right. I have no idea how he got that number. That's crazy. He gets my mom's number next. <laughs> Called my mom's. My mom's okay. come upstairs. Say, answer that fucking phone. <laughs> right." phone rings yeah. two minutes yeah yeah you know how you doing carl you know we were like you know seeing a couple of highlights and your tapes and we spoke to a couple of people yo um come get this opportunity right i'm always looking at me like yeah you gonna do that or you getting up out of here uh-huh you know what okay. i mean so i'm okay. like shit yeah. All right, cool. I'm uh, phew. Right, right, you know right. I mean? You out of here. That, I'm on that plane, <laughs> man. So, 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 plane. so, fresh off, fresh off the plane. What's, what's the, what's that experience like? Hot, very hot. It was hot. I remember that <laughs> shit. Hot. You know what I mean? What, what, um, what kind of, what, what time of the year is it? August. It's in August. All right. And Fresno in August. That shit like a hundred degrees. <laughs> You know what I mean? That shit right. was baking, man. Right. No humidity, just hot. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean, so and then I'm a fish out of water. Yeah. You know, and I'm 17. You're 17, fish out of water, then play high school. Then play high school. Didn't play ball. high school ball. Mm -hmm. So you walking into to to something totally different versus what you've been playing uh uh, uh in AAU and, and travel. Totally right. different because now totally, totally different. It's a lot of the, the structure is different. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I'm still a knucklehead. I'm still, still, a, I'm still on. I'm, I'm still, still on bad times. Right, 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 I'm right, still, right. I'm still tweaking. All right, you know all right. I mean? So, so, so your first, your first day there. What, what is other than that? It being extremely hot. What else? Um, you do you remember on that day? Shit, I had to go visit my high school first because I had to finish high school. Right. So I had to take right. high school classes during the day. Okay. I mean during the morning. Uh -huh. And then uh 
practice in the afternoon. Okay. And classes in the afternoon and a couple of classes at night, college. Okay. You know what I mean? Because out there, they allowed you to come out there and finish high school. Oh, wow. Well, that's what they allowed me to do. That's that's big time. Because they, cause, cause they only doing that for, for, for somebody they really want. You dig? You but they I mean? didn't know. They didn't know I was going to be who I who I was, you know what I mean? Who they, I am. They kind of had an idea, I want to say. Yeah. Because they, they took their chances on you. They yeah. they called you, you, you shut them down, they called moms. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. So they, they kind of had an idea, but facts, they ain't know facts. it was going to be to that magnitude. Yeah. They All right, makes know. sense. They makes sense. They know. Okay. They, I didn't know. You okay. Know what I mean? I, yeah. <laughs> or I ain't know. But yeah, so now, first day I visit my high school at that time. I think they was called Fresno Unified. Basically the same shit as like a satellite out here. Yeah. You know okay. what I mean? So I did that mm -hmm. and then, you know, practice and all that. Yeah. yeah. So you just worked on your game and went to school. Yeah. You was away from the hood. You was away yeah. from the bull. Shout I mean. out Mike. Shout out Marley. God rest the dead. Linroy, Rob. Yeah. Those is all my roommates too. It's, it's, a lo it's, it's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, it was, and it was rough my first year too. Don't get it twisted. It was super rough. Okay. Super rough. Uh, living conditions was crazy. Uh -huh. Was crazy. Uh -huh. You know, and that's a whole nother story. Shit. Living conditions was so bad that that coach, right, he got fired and a couple of dudes stood up for what they believed in. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Uh -huh. And uh, it cost them. You yeah. know what I mean? But at the end of the day, they exposed what they needed to expose. And it also cost us our season in a sense because. Um, we were, we went, um, what they call it. Um, we asked, got sanctioned. Okay. You know I mean, school, whatever. Right. So yeah, it was a long, it was crazy. Okay. It was okay. crazy that okay. year. Okay. It was crazy that year. So, so you, that was the first, that was your first year. That was my first experience of college life. So, man. so, so, so how you feeling it at this point? You like, like, am I going to thug it out or oh, are you ready to come home? I was both, but I'm like, when I'm coming home too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm mm -hmm. coming home like nine out of ten times. Yeah, I, I could, I could probably would have been able to get into school somewhere. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But I just like, nah, I ain't going. I'm gonna thug it out, and it was a real thug out. That's Talking true. about days, no food. Mm. You know what I mean? Shout out, God rest the dead, to Peter Sharkey. He hell of a guy because a coach that recruited me got fired, okay. and then Peter Sharkey came along. Okay. Hell of a guy, provided groceries for the for the for the crib. For the guys, yeah. just you know, we went. I remember <laughs> Fresno also gets cold as well. Yeah. But I remember out there, right, when those guys stepped up, the coach was basically was like, Oh, so y'all want to do that kind of shit? All right, I got something for you. No lights today. You know what I mean? Wow. So now we going a week, 10 days with no, no lights. lights. Wow. But I'm young, I'm 17. So right. I, I'm like, yo, what the fuck going on? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, because he was taking niggas' money or whatever. You got know what it, I mean? Got it, had got niggas it. sleeping in hallways, right. allegedly, right, like right. bathrooms, allegedly. Right. You know what allegedly, I mean? Yeah. All types of wild shit. It's all my first year, all wow. my first time being away from home. Yeah. All this shit. So first time ever being away from home. Ever like, being like, away like, from home for this, for this long period of time. And not this. coming back no time soon. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So if I can that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, shit like that. Yeah. It was like I said, it was treacherous, man. Yeah. Lots. Like, the, shout the, out to the, my guys. The stuff that that nobody hardly ever heard of. Oh yeah, because you just hear the you just say the the, the, yeah. the glamour part. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, but that, that was important because <clears throat> um some some young people they 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 so eager to just go. You know what I mean, and, and play for 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 institution. Yeah, they don't know. Yeah. They don't really know like what hap what's happening behind them scenes. Do your research. That's big. Get in contact with motherfuckers that already went there, played there, played for that coach. All that shit matters. But you know, that's you know that's great mean? advice. That's sound advice right there. Or the mother. All right, so let's get into your second year because your second year is like. It's, it's, it's some legendary stuff happening. This is all the first year. Oh, that's all the first year? All the first year, everything, and the legendary stuff that happened. That's all the wow. first year. So so even with all of that going on. I'm in the gym. Wow. I'm in the gym. You spend a lot of time in there. Yeah. As much as How many hours hooping. in the day would you say would you, you spend in the gym? Oh, man. A lot. And when I say gym, I mean gym and park because, you right. know, JUCO, they only give you a certain amount of hours. Yeah. So you do two, three hours, whatever, whatever. But then me and the guys had battles. We'd be in the park five, six hours. 
mm-hmm. battles yeah. on a Sunday, Saturday where yeah. we don't have no, nothing to do. Yeah. We're battling, working out, yeah. push ups. These guys are the ones that got me into really like working out, like okay. calisthenics and stuff like yeah. that. You know yeah. what I mean? Right. But yeah, okay, yeah, okay, it was okay. crazy. It was right. Crazy. All right. So that's year one. Yeah, this is still year one, everything. So, so, um, you, you get through your first year, mm-hmm. you get to your first year and your second year and now my second year i had the red shirt okay because i was still wilding okay came up a couple of credits short right. came home didn't do summer school you know what i mean <laughs> said nah you was playing summer ball ticket. that summer hell yeah thrashing everything because <laughs> you in tip-top shape I'm you tip-top shape, yeah. man still going to the park still right still right. wilding shit up. right 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 you know right, what i mean right. i was just you know, yeah. outside. All right. So, so how old are you at this time? Like 18, 19? 18. Nah, 18. I turned, I turned, I was still 17 when I landed. My birthday's in October. So right. I turned, I turned 18 in October. Got it, got you it. know what I mean? So that after that first year, I'm still, still 18, 18 years, years old. old. 18 yeah, years yeah, old. Yeah. yeah. So you still, you still on, you still on 16, 17 year old yeah. timing. Yeah. All right. So you come, you come home, Um, you, you play that summer, you play all over. I'm sure you, I already everybody knows what you do. Um, you go, you you red shirt your second year, and then your third. This is your third year now. My third year. So your third year, you're playing. You get yeah, to play I'm this play, shit. Yeah, I'm playing the game. All right. So yeah. so what kind of what kind of um what kind of career uh would you say you had during that time? A solid one because I played. That's when they straight basically everything got straightened out like uh coaching and all that so then right. the guy Vance Wahlberg comes along okay you know what I mean this is when before Vance came I'm 22 I'm 22 and 12. I'm an all-american like mm-hmm. back in the day it used to be a uh, streets and Smith is what they called it yeah I was 13 all-american now after my first year wow you know what I mean and then I registered in my second year but yeah. I, after my first year I was uh I was an all-american 13 all juco all-american so so they they knew what they knew what they had already. They knew what they had in terms of a player, and then you yeah. redshirted, so they knew what you was like. They knew what type of time you was yeah. going. Yeah, all right. And you know, first thing when I met the coach, right? Yo, <laughs> he was like, "Yo, what's up?" And um, I'm Coach Wahlberg, et cetera, et cetera, introduce himself. I'm like, and me being an arrogant son of a gun, I'm yeah. like, yo, y'all know who I am. Like, yo, I'm, I'm Carl <laughs> Lee, man. Like, right, right. I'm talking to this man like this, right. man. Right. I'm talking to this man like that. Right. You know what I mean? So we got off on the wrong foot already. All right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Come now. This to, guy think he is. And come to find out, like I said, I don't know him from a hole in the wall, but mm-hmm. come to find out he's a legend in in that he's a legend in, he's a legend, period. Oh, got but it. like he's he's that he's that he's that guy. He's that guy. Yeah. That guy. So he looking at you like, like, like what is this guy like, talking fuck about? Fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? He look, he's looking at me like, fuck out of here. Yeah. You went for a rude awakening, nigga. Right, right. You're you going to find out who I am. Yeah. Right? Uh, and boy, did I find out. Right, right. Boy, right, did right. I find out. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what humbled me in a sense, too. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. You know, my numbers took a hit that year, too, but we was winning. Okay. We broke all types of school records. That's fine. Um, state records. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, broke a lot of records. All right. 22 wins on the road before we even came to our home gym. Wow. Everybody underestimated us that year. We talking about smacking up on Ventura and all these guys that's going to high D1 here, high D1 there. Okay. Beating these niggas by 40. <laughs> and I'm like, nah, this is surreal. Because <laughs> right, right. I'm looking around, right? And if you saw my team, you like, nah. We go punch on these niggas. <laughs> yo, Carly, what up? Yo, uh, uh, how you doing? Yo, you over? Yeah, I'm over here still. Yeah. Like, oh shit, damn, yo, yeah, you should have yeah, came yeah. with us. Right, right. You'll find out why I stayed here. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Wow. And these motherfuckers, yeah. man, boy, they was yo, boy. They was they was, they was curries before curries. Okay. okay. They was curries before curries. Fine. And truth be told, he's the one who started off the whole. He's the one who started off that no mid range. Like, mm. that was the first year, right? And I've experienced basketball like that where there was only one person that was allowed to go do mid ranges on that team. His name was Tyrone Jackson. And I, don't, I should have mentioned him too as one of the most talented guys that I played with too. Boy, was a problem. Yeah. Wound up going to Arizona State and all nice. that, but was a problem. Yeah. 
was a problem. Yeah, like he was the only one allowed to take mid range. <laughs> Everybody else That's had to crazy. be a layup yeah. or a three, <laughs> or your ass is gonna be on the bench wow. and you're not getting up. Wow. You sitting. That's you that's, sitting. that's different. You sitting. That's different. And this is two thousand. So they's putting a lot of you gotta be putting a lot of shots up. He got to have a lot of confidence oh, in these guys. Oh, I don't watch his name. It's Adam Wall. I don't watch that motherfucker make 200, 200 and something straight threes. What? I don't, yeah, with the shooting gun. Jeez. I don't watch Jason's kid named Jason Wahlberg. He made 100 and some, like, if I could remember right, that I seen with my eyes, like 100 and some threes in a row on the shooting machine. These motherfuckers was gunning it down. Wow. Gunning it down. And that was our offense. And then we pressed all day. Okay. Pressed all day. Right, right, right. And right. we was running these run <laughs> running them out the gym. When I tell we smacking niggas by 30, 40, bro. <laughs> Ventura, all them all them right. southern schools that was right. top in the, um, was the top. San Francisco City, yeah, College of Sequoias, the, punching on these niggas. Right. And, punching and, and many they, more. They wasn't expecting that. They wasn't expecting it. Wow. They got they got blissed and didn't know how to react. And it was like that for the whole year. And, it was shit. It was like that even after I left. Okay, you know so what they, I mean. They maintained that. They won the state the following year, and maybe the year like they won two times after I left. Like, like two close. times after. Wow, mm -hmm. wow, like close. All right, all right. And I lost in the state finals. You know, okay. I lost to um LA LAC. I lost Jamel Jam Jam Jamal Blasting game. Pardon me if I said your name right, but I fuck with you. Yeah. Um, they had Beck Julian Sensley. They had like eight high division one players. Okay. And we lost by like five. Okay. You know what I mean? Competitive game. It wasn't all. Oh, very. No, yeah, this yeah, one yeah. was it. I and remember. they was they had the size on their front line. We were super small. I'm talking about super, super, super small. Yeah. Um, me and a guy named Chad were the tallest ones on the team. Chad right. had me by like an inch. These guys' front line is their two guard is six six on up. Oh, uh, okay. And then uh, it was yeah, Blasting yeah. Game, who's like 5'8", but right. that nigga is- He's different. He's yeah, different. Yeah, 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 different. Right. Makes different. sense. Makes Class sense. of his own. Okay. You know what okay. I mean? Okay. But yeah. All right. So so um, that's 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 your second year, um, Juco. Um, yeah. What's next? What's the next step? Um, Next step after that, um, I was supposed to go, and I was still wilding, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I was supposed to, as far when I say wilding, it's like the school thing, you know what I mean? Like I was, you know, doing enough to get by. Type okay, shit, all right. You, you know was just I mean? staying, staying uh, eligible, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, doing enough. To so, get so, by. so when the season ends, oh, I was, I'll go here that, and there. That's, and that's, like that's, that, that's, that's usually, is, that's usually like how, yeah. how most of the hoopers is. So, I was supposed to originally go to um, Norfolk State. They didn't accept one of my math grades. Then, um, Idaho State was like, yo, come here. They couldn't get the math grade through. Okay. So then I wind up going to motherfucking Utah Valley State. Okay. You know what I mean? That's 0304, maybe? Mm -hmm. 0304? Okay. If I'm not mistaken. Wind up doing a year there. Independent Division One. That was the first year they turned Division One. Like the us, Florida Gulf Coast, Longwood, okay. uh, VMI or something like that. Uh another one in Colorado, uh, another school in Colorado. It was, a, it was a whole bunch of them, yeah. you know what I mean? And we was trying to get into a conference, wind up winning that championship there, the independent division one championship, nice. won that shit with that school. Nice. And then um, and then uh, um, was supposed to go back, but it was a little bit of racism that I wasn't jacking. Okay. A lot, I mean, a, lot of a little bit. It was a lot of racism that I wasn't, I wasn't with. Yeah. And then, um, or I, that I experienced as well. Sure. And I uh, kept it moving. And then that's when I just went to California for like a year, said, you know what, nah. And I came back to New York. Okay. Like, like 05. Okay. You know. All right. All right. All right. So, um, so after your high school career, what's next? Do you um do you go on to play professionally? Do you just pay rec recreationally? Like what's the next step? Um, I started I started um I started playing with uh ABA. Okay. Started going through the ABA back then. They actually paid, you know what I mean. Yeah. So yeah. started doing that X Y Z and still trying to build, still trying to build, still right. trying to build. Um, USBLs, uh, with the Brooklyn Kings and all that. Nice, nice. And nice. then um, got a shot at a team in in, in Mexico. Okay, which had to be maybe like oh seven oh eight. Yeah, Ciba Copa Copa Ciba League. 
Okay. Um, how I read because it's, it's weird, but yeah. Okay. That was like I want to say. Uh, I want to say at that time that might have been like the second division, or, but the talent the talent was good there. Okay. 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 Then I wind up uh, coming back playing in some more ABAs, and then I went over to um, Portugal. Okay. How was that you know experience I mean? over in Portugal? It was great, man. Learning experience. Shout out to my man Marcel. You know what I mean, yeah, Reg. Myself, you know what yeah. I mean. Marcel got me over there. Yeah. Um, it was cool. It was cool, man. It yeah. was cool. Different country. You know different I mean? country. Different food. Yeah. Uh, different way of playing. Yeah. You know yeah. What the I mean? rules are different slightly, right? Um, yeah. What was, what was and the then, com- competitiveness like? Oh, it was good. Shit, yeah. even we practiced hard. It was funny because that year. Uh, yeah, shit, won another won another championship out there in Pro Liga. <laughs> Talk about it, man. You know what I mean? Won another chip out there. Yeah. And uh, we only had six guys. Really? So in practice, we're doing a lot of three-on-three three full courts and <sighs> and um, drills and yeah. shit like that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, we yeah, yeah. picking up, like, the younger kids or whatever. You got to gotta make... be in shape yeah. to and, play in the league like that. Six yeah, players. You know, that's, about six players, seven players time, I really yeah. played. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, shout out to Muhammad, you know what I mean, Josie, you know what I mean, a couple of other guys, man. Like I said, I'm bad with names, but shout out to all y'all. You know uh, what I mean? Okay, okay. Let me ask you, what was the best advice you received from a from a coach, if you could remember? I would say the best advice that I got from a coach was coach telling me that I couldn't make money playing basketball. Mm. That was the best advice so, if so, you get me. Yeah, so it so it fueled you to without a doubt to do the opposite. To make right? one dollar. Yeah. I'm gonna prove you wrong. Right, 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 right. And all I right. did. All right, all right. Um uh throughout your basketball journey, is there anything you wish you'd done differently? Went to school, man. Yeah. Went to school. I'd have I'd have been a high major player, man. Easily. High major, bro. Yeah. I had every school after my first year of college. I, I was dropped. My first year I was so I was getting 40 in my sleep against real competition. Dudes going to Oregon, dudes yeah. going to Cal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Killing these dudes. What? I'm 30, 30 and 20, like 30 points, 20, 30 rebounds, points, 20 rebounds, 40, crazy. 40 and 10, 40 all and twos. 16. These are, these are all... all twos. No threes. <laughs> no threes. Twos and free throws. That's crazy. Twos and free throws. I did not shoot one single three. <laughs> I never shot a three in college. Wow. Like even my second year, my se- and I was working on yo, <laughs> and I was working on my bag too. Right, and when right. I motherfucking had the red shirt, yeah, and I'm wilding on these niggas, right, right, UCLA right, right. in the gym. That's when Steve Lavin was there and right, all that. Right. White Washington coming down, right. they was looking at other people, but and at they, the same time, I'm violating these niggas. They violating the ones that that, that they coming, coming to, to look at. Yeah, yeah. Violating these niggas, you hear me? <laughs> Violating these niggas, man. <laughs> Violating these niggas. That coach gets fired or whatever, and that's when Wahlberg. But yeah, man, go to school. Yeah, go to school. That's what man. I regret the most. I should have, I should have, like, I should have fucking, and I don't even say regret. It was just part of my plan. You know what I mean? It was just what it was, you know. But I would have went to school because I feel I would have been somewhere in Jamaica States right now with my feet up and starting having to. Bust my ass running this company. Gotcha, <laughs> you know what gotcha. I mean? Yeah, it makes sense. It makes Straight sense. up. Agree. Because you, you, you was talented. You definitely had the talent and the skill set to compete on um on, on any on oh, any division. Oh yeah, on and any I proved team. that. I'm playing against I went to I went to when I was in Fresno, right at that time, three three players from Fresno State got the, got drafted. First round that year, Melvin Eli, Chris wow. Jeffries, and Tito Maddox. That's big time. I'm playing against these niggas every like every other night. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Midnight and runs and shit like pros. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm wowing these niggas. <laughs> I'm wowing them right. like real talk, yeah, real yeah, talk. Yeah, hood. Yeah, yeah. I'm busting their ass. I know bro. what you do, bro. Busting their ass, yeah, bro. So yeah. they're like, "Yo, who the fuck's this nigga?" Right. Then all of a sudden. I'm making front page of the paper, like out there. It's called the Fresno B. It's similar to like the Post, Newsday, right, right. Daily News. Like I'm on the main paper. Yeah. Front page, That's front fire. page. Yeah. You know what I mean? Big ass article. So yeah. now I'm starting to come around more and they they oh, okay, okay. Let's yeah, see. Checking for like, you. You know what I mean? No, nah, not even checking for me. I'm checking for them. 
Okay. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah, y'all, y'all supposed to be it, right? Y'all supposed this to be y'all town. Yeah, 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 yeah. I go yeah. to the JUCO. This is y'all. Right. The, you know, you go to the state school. You're right. in front of state on right. TV every night. Uh, First round draft picks, et cetera, et cetera. Now nah, I'm gonna kick y'all ass every time I could kick y'all ass. Right, right, right. And that's right. what I did. You know what I mean? So yeah, I built my still, name. You know, yeah. started flowing through the. You know. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. But yeah. All right, real quick. Um, describe Ajax Park. Primetime Sunday. Mm, if you can no place like home. Yeah. That shit was epic, man. Epic, epic, epic. It's like one of those things you had to be there for. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like playing and watching both sides of the spectrum. Like playing, it was e- even even the hood teams are super competitive. Yeah. Like they're coming, they're coming, they're coming with a different type of hunger. Oh, you're supposed to be somebody, we gonna right. go at it. Yeah, you know what I mean? You are. Yeah. Didn't care. And that's the that's the error. That's that's the era I'm from, and that's that's what Ajax, Lincoln, that's what that's what Queens is all about at that. You know what that's I mean? Summertime ball. That's what it's all about as, as well. You that's, know a fact. that's a fact. Um, your most memorable moment as a as a player and a spectator, and or a spectator in, in Ajax. Mm, that's a good one. When y'all had the when y'all had the um when y'all had the uh, Slam dunk contest. I think I told you this yeah, already. Dunk contest. And I watched Grasshopper jump over the fucking <laughs> top of the car, bro, from like the dots. Yeah, I said, you jumped I'm, over the car. There's only a couple of dunks I ever seen that I was really like, oh, that shit is wicked. That wasn't in the NBA. Right. He's one of them. Right, right, you know right. What right I mean? And right, that right. was that was at that was at Ajax. Dude jumped over the car. Jumped over the car, man. Yeah. Like over the hood like not <laughs> not the not the front he jumped off the very top of the right, car and right, fucking right. did some wild shit like a windmill or some yeah, wild 360 yeah. shit bro that, was that shit wild. was crazy that shit was crazy wow and then the games anytime pride and powerful played that was a good one yeah. miller time when they played yeah you know what i mean like like i said you know excuse me if i miss anybody but it was other there was mad other teams in there too that was good right. from all over you know what I mean? Right, right, right. And and it was it was good times. Right. Good times. Um, so with, with, with all of that and um the, the 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 success that you had throughout your your college career, if if you if if you if if that if we grew up in a social media uh time, like how how well would that have worked for you? <sighs> <laughs> I would be my name would be mentioned a lot more than it is as a whole. That's a fact. As a whole in this Agreed. in this city is is in a representative of this town. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, and I'm cool. I'm cool with my name not being mentioned in it at all. Mm-hmm. But you know, from time to time, it's okay to you know what I mean. Right, right, right. Pat your own self on the back if Had nobody to. else want to do it. Right. You know what I mean? That's a fact. And you know, there was a lot of people that know. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot, a lot of, of people that know. A lot yeah. of teammates that I've been yeah. that I've been able to. You know what I mean? Share that journey with. That's a fact. So it, it, you know, yeah. if, you, if you know, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that's, a mean? that's a fact. That's a fact. I feel like you know, social media. You know, it's the best. It's a gift and a curse. But if you use it right, you know what I mean, and don't abuse it, go get your money, man. Off yeah. that bullshit. Agree. You know Agree. I mean? right. Easier for people to see you. If I was able to use that and get seen like that, shit. Because a lot, a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of people getting deals. They getting them nil deals off of it. Yeah, it's a it's a great it's a good tool. I mean, if it, mm-hmm. if it's used correctly, yeah, great right, tool. Cool. Safe great to say. Tool. I um two I got two um two different categories of this man. Um, top fives. Mm. Top fives. Mm. Um, top fives. Of yeah, what? yeah, I want I want um I want I want your top five Ajax and I want your top five Lincoln Hoopers. Yeah, yeah, era, yeah, yeah. Uh, people who 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 you look at, who you hold to that to that um stature. You could decide. Ajax which... rough because I'm not good with names, man. Okay, I could I could probably help you out with Ajax a little. Yeah, probably, but if not, I mean, it is what it is. Kaisan, they say it's from from Ajax, right? He's from Ajax, right? Um, it's Kaisan? Yeah, Kaisan. Oh man, Kaisan. He's from Ajax, right? Yeah, yeah. Hands down, one of the best scorers I've ever seen, shooters I've ever seen in my life, too. Somebody shouted, somebody shouted him out, and I thought about it. And I started reminiscing. Yeah. And I was like, Kaisen yo, was he was nice. fucking amazing. You know what I mean? Shit. Pause yeah. for all y'all. I mean, so <laughs> right. 
And then um uh hmm, Ajax, see, I'm not good with, with names because there's a couple. There's a couple. If you could feel if you, free to if help you could, me out. If you could tell me, if you could remember the teams, if you could remember the teams they may have played on, I could be, I could then maybe is Curtis Kelly from um from Ajax? He he not, but he 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 definitely like Went to work in Ajax. Went to work. In <laughs> he definitely yeah. went to work there. Yeah, yeah I, I, I can, I can definitely, I can definitely um say. Is Javal from? Is Javal? Yeah, Javal. Javal's yeah. another one. Shout out to Javal. Javal is another one. I gotta, man. I gotta bring my boy up here. I, even from Jamaica, from seeing that Jamaica <laughs> high school, because you know they played Newtown. Yeah, and, you yeah. Know what I mean, so I saw him, and then after actually. Being outside now and playing right. and not actually playing with him too. Yeah. yeah he he's was, one of them guys. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, who else, man? Who else? Who else is from that side? Like I said, I'm bad with names. And if I forget, you can help Don't me out. Don't worry about it, man. Um Russ, about. Russ. Um Miller Time has some Miller Time has some more players, man. I'm trying to think. Where's Stymie from? Oh, I mean, Stymie, he's yeah, from across. Yeah, Stymie is from um OCP. Yeah, he was a fucking but He animal. definitely was putting on. He was an animal. Yeah. He was an animal in there. Um, Give me one more. Somebody that uh, came. They might not even be from Ajax. They they came through it. They, they was in there hoping. One more. Damn, like I said, I'm bad with names, man. But I stand. Uh, I came through and violated over there. Came through and violated over there. Lionel came through and violated over there. Yeah, this this, this nigga Lionel. too. Um, D, that went to August Martin. Darnell. Yeah, he, DC, viol yeah, yeah, yeah. he violated that <laughs> shit. <laughs> He violated yeah, that shout shit. Out, shout out to I, my boy, I played boy, on DC. teams where he violated that <laughs> shit, man. So yeah. I got to I gotta send him, yeah. too. Yeah. That, I, I don't know if he's from over there, but. He yeah. he he the type, like, you, he, he clean. He had your A park. Because he yeah. just go to park the park and yeah. just hoop. You know what I mean? Like, he I one seen, of them guys. Like I seen BJ violate that. He's, but I know you from the bricks, yeah. but he violated that shit. Yeah. There's some of shit. Mel left lefty dark skin kid. He used to play with Pride and Powerful. He was he was tough oh, yeah, and he yeah. put on a show. He yeah. was big with the handle, big but guard. he could finish and yeah. You know what I mean? He was tough. Yeah. Let's talk yeah. about let's talk about Lincoln. Let's go Lincoln. Uh. Oh Lincoln, you know I'm top five. <laughs> you know yeah. I'm top five. I yeah. I heard I heard um I heard um the OG on on his list. Yeah. The niggas is before me though. Right. So it is what it is, and I feel like you know what I mean. If you so, ever had so a chance, it wouldn't have been who alongside you. And who that, alongside and that. me from that town? Yeah. Hmm. Damn. I gotta go with my man Owe. Yeah. Shout out to I Owe. Rock, I rock with Owe. Yeah. This man too. Yeah, Ryan. Fine, um, Ryan. <laughs> I gotta go dot. I gotta go dot. dot. Shout out to dot. Gunner. It was a Shout lot of it was a lot of guys. Fucking I seen glimpsed. He was he was after me, but or two of them was after me, but Trey. Um Trey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um that the Jermaine kid. Shit, I watched that kid on TV go crazy yeah. for St. Louis. You know Man. what I mean? I don't know what happened after Jermaine that. Bishop, but yeah. you know what I mean? Time. I seen him and he, he from over he from on that side. Yeah. Um who else? Just from that side, but not even the back street, because there was a lot of guys in the back streets that got busy too. Nah, you good? You good? You good tapping on them too? You could bring a lot them up. Of guys in the back streets got busy. You know, uh, I guess I'm bad with names, but um, there was also a guy. What's his name? He played in Ajax too, but he used to play back in the day. His last name Malone. I want to say G Malone. G Malone. Yeah, he was a yo. He was a maniac. Shout out to, shout out to Swish. Yeah. Bucket. Yeah. Bucket. <laughs> Bucket. Yeah. I think, matter of fact, I think he coming up, he coach a uh, youth team, like a girls team. They He bring him up here this weekend, if I'm not mistaken. 
Word. Word. Yeah. He still be hooping too. But he when he live in PA and he coach a um coach a girls uh high school team. And he said he was bringing them out here this week, and if I'm not mistaken, for a tournament. That's tough. Yeah. Shit, Boo Harvey was another nigga that I saw. And I caught him at the later of his later of his time, bro. He was 40. Wow, he was crazy. 40. Like he's getting 40. Yeah. And he's winning. Easy. He's getting 40. There's yeah. nothing you could do about it. Yeah. There's nothing you could do about it. That's I seen fact. him do that shit in, in Ajax time in, time out. <laughs> right. Ajax was in all my force was in 226. Yeah. Time in, time out. When y'all moved to Brooklyn, time yeah. in, time out. Yeah. He was violating. Yeah, he definitely, definitely he violating. Yeah. And I know after this, I'm gonna remember mad other names. Nah, bro. that's how it be though. You, know what you I mean? remember it later. I'm gonna see man. You, you on the spot? That shit is. That, that shit, shit is rough. I, I know. I never did this. So you know what I mean. I know. I know. I know. I know. So, I know. Um, yeah. Fucking. I, I mean, you know, of course, the shows, LOs. You know, I know you gotta add them, but in a sense, they like their own realm. Right. You know what I mean? So. But them two, of course, is the head honchos of our side. You know what I mean? Yeah. Two, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That man's a two-time champion, bro. That's fact. I think he might have won a six-man. Yeah, six-man. You know, Lakers. Medalist, gold medalist. Right? Enough to say. And show was an NBA player, period. Period. Show was, a, show, show was an NBA Anybody player. Anybody know that. Like, yeah, he don't, he, that's he, it. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm bringing show over here, too, man. Oh, that was, that's it you know what i mean you know you know who people don't who who people who people julian opinion, julian julian it, was it, tough him him and another person that people don't mention trey mentioned them uh jam jam oh, was, nice. was nice yeah jam was, was nice, nice. Jam was nice. Facts. Lincoln had a lot of lot of, a lot of talent. God rested dead. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Before everything in the I, 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 but a guy named Chris Porter. He used to, he went to Buffalo back in the day or whatever. Oh, yeah. You know what Chris I mean? was nice. He was super nice, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. First time seeing like big guards. Yeah. You know what I mean? He like yeah. six four or something yeah. like that. And he's he's he on was, the wing. Yeah, he was you know what nice. I mean? He's on the wing. He's Shout moving, Chris, shaking, man, shooting shit down. Yeah. He was tough. But there was so many guys. Lincoln was Lincoln was, yo. I'm mad too. Not mad, but you know, um, they stopped it so soon. Like after I guess Chink moved or whatever X Y Z. Like because it was taking off crazy. Yeah, well, it took off. It took but off. It was going crazy. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then it just cold turkey and it stopped and didn't have a fucking Lincoln Park tournament for for a long time. At least 10, 12 years. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? My yeah. real playing day, there was no Lincoln Park tournament. They right. tried later on down the line, yeah, but, but it wasn't. It wasn't yeah, my twenties. It was no Lincoln Park tournament. Right. You know what I mean? The last Lincoln Park tournament I played in, that was really real, was like ninety nine. Right. You know what I mean? And that's when Chink ran it, and and um, we yeah. lost in the final four in that shit. I was playing with the Backstreets. Right. Okay. Okay. You know yeah, big so, red with red. Yeah, with red. Big all, BG and all, all day. Yeah. BG it was a whole bunch of us, man. We okay. had a crew. We yeah, had a crew. That was, that was a tough team. We had a crew. All right. Um, we about to wrap up because we, yeah. we we right there at the time. But I got sure. two. I got like three more questions that I always ask all the guests. So, what advice do you have for um for the for the parents of student athletes, and what advice do you have for the actual student athlete? Like, what, what, what would you um say to them? I would just say to the parents, like let let the kids be kids. Let them let them de let let them be them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like some develop faster than others. Like we understand you want your son or daughter to be the best, but their best might come later. True. You know what I'm saying? It might not come right now. You True. know what I mean? So just give them time to time to grow. You know what I mean? And don't forget as well that the, at the end of the day, you're gonna go home with them and you screaming on them and this, that, this, that during the game, looking like a dummy. You know what I mean? They gonna remember that shit. Some may not have a problem with it. Some might. They can but be hurting. They you know what hurting. I mean? Yeah. And then nowadays the kids don't say shit. You know what I mean? They're not gonna tell you, but you don't wanna have them grow up with like, man, I think it was wild and all damn I was just tripping. You know what I mean? True. And then for the the student athletes, work. Work, 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 work out, work out, and as much time as you put into the motherfucking ball, put the same amount of time into that schoolwork. Right. Don't miss them classes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Long, tired, whatever. 
you gotta you gotta balance both and and leave all the rest out especially if you're trying to be a real student athlete and play real college ball you got to do both equally as hard that's a fact you know what i mean and um work out man get out and play you know what i mean like it's okay to go to the park and work on your game that's where you get like the the natural reaction you know what i mean that's when you that's when you get that second move off the first you know what i mean you could practice it and practice it and it becomes natural but you're not going to get it by doing at least in my opinion you're not going to get it by just doing it with cones and have these guys waving whatever they wave and not actually getting in the field and playing you know what i'm saying and um yeah and it, it really doesn't matter who you play with you know what I mean? Because you're going there with a sole purpose to at the same time work on your game. You know what I mean? But school comes hand in hand, man. And listen to the ones before y'all, man. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. You got to, you got to, you know, navigate to, through the bullshit or whatever. But there's a lot of brothers that you may think homie did something more than him but he actually could relate to you better than the guy you actually looking up to but you're not even looking at his way because of whatever he's not on social media he's not oh yo i'm the man and this that the third you know what i mean but he might whisper in your ear like yo listen man yo go to school listen this is how you do it you know pick like this pick like that yo just take heed yo have a good day i'm out Right. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Those guys, those guys also know what they're talking about as yeah. well. You know That's what I fact. mean? Some like, walk. yeah, walk the walk and you know the yeah. talk. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's a fact. So that's all I would say. You know, and just stay focused. Stay focused, man. And girls, they always gonna be there, bro. They they always gonna be there. Women aren't going nowhere. And then if you do what you got to do. You're going to make a lot of money whether basketball doesn't work out, but you could use the basketball to do the school thing and graduate with a degree in something that you could actually get some money off of and not just say, oh, I took a, I took a few classes. I got a bullshit degree. Now I'm, I'm back into the real world. You know what I mean? Holding your britches. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So that's what I would say, man. That's sound advice, man. That's sound that's advice. So. Um, last last question I asked before we, um, we wrap up. Is a leader leader people with some motivational words, some words of encouragement, something that could be understood from a young person to an adult. Just keep your head up, keep your head up, stay humble, stay working hard in whatever field you're working in. You know what I mean. Um, don't give up. Don't listen to people that tell you you should do this instead of doing that. You know what I mean? Do what your heart desires. But if you're going to do it, do it. Don't half step. Don't I plan later. Get up, get out and do it. You know what I mean? And you can do it. Like you can do it, man. Nothing's impossible, man. As long as you got air and, and everything works and you sound mind, you could achieve it, man. You just might have to put in a little bit more leg work than the next man. You know what I mean? But stay in your lane and run your course. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Damn sure don't look behind you. Just look forward and keep pushing. You know what I mean? That's a fact. And you'll get there. That's a fact. That's, that's great. That's some great, some great words, man. I mean, great words. It's not going to be easy, though. Trust nah, me. Nah, it's not. Shit it's not ain't easy. easy. You know what I mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing that's easy is really worth it, though. Nah. You know what I mean? If it's e- if it's easy, and I've learned the hard way. So this is from this is from my fucking experience. If that shit is too good to be true, it's too good to be true, bro. <laughs> that shit ain't just a saying. That shit is reality. That's reality. You know what I mean? That shit reality, man. Mm. You know, but yeah, man. Just I think once again, thank you for letting me up here, course, man. You know, of course, what I mean? of course. Thanks, thank you thanks for letting for coming me on. share my little one twos. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, See, ain't nothing little about here. your ones twos, man. That's <laughs> why. That's why it was important to have you come to 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 share that journey, man. That's um. That's that's one for the books. Like what you what you've done, what you've accomplished, is um is is legendary. You know what I'm saying, and Appreciate we can't it, we can't we can't we're not gonna take it for granted, and we're not gonna. We're not going to downplay it. We're going to highlight it. You know what I'm saying? Every single time. 
can I say one more thing? Sure. I used to be against this, not even against it, but like I wasn't one of those guys. I will say this to 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 the youth that if you're not already doing it, start doing it. Take them on fucking pictures, take them photos, take them on fucking videos, gather all that shit up, man. Because when you get older and you really stop and you stop moving, and now you just living life. It's cool to look back on that shit and be like, damn, I really was that nigga. I right. really did that. Yeah. I really did this. Damn, he was, oh shit. Remember, we watching him now, right. but I just kicked his ass and I got, you know what I right. mean? Yeah, yeah, like, Hold on one, to that stuff. You know what I mean? Hold yeah. on to that, because that's you, one thing. I you don't really no, know that. I have you, no footage. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't, yeah. you talking right. early 2000, yeah, 96, yeah. 90. I wasn't one of those, mm -hmm, nah. Yeah. I have no footage of my shit. Got it, you know got what it. I mean? Yeah. Nothing. Not no tape, no game film, nothing. Right. All that shit is up here, right. and the people that experienced it with me. Right, right. You know right, what right. I mean? Yeah. So that's, and that's so what good. I would that, say. That's why the social media stuff is is it's good. excellent, man. Because right? because the timelines you can hold on to. Exactly. All right. You know Makes what I mean? sense. That's sound so, advice too, man. All right. Yeah. With that said, man, um, we pass our time. I want to thank you again for coming on. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. All love. Thank all you, love, man. man. It's the AMF show, episode 21 with Coach J. Vaughn. And we out. Peace. Love.